What's going on, Clay Time in the basement? Today we're going to talk about fish on Prozac. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and if you're on YouTube, hit that little bell so you will get notified when I have new shit. Let's get to it. I'll show you everything you need to know. Welcome to Claytime in Basement Podcast Show, a show like no other. Wild over the top opinions from an angry, cigar smoking, living in the basement of a housey Paison, road comic father who is technically married and understandably frustrated. Here he is, Clay Miles. What's going on, family? Subscribe! Subscribe! Tell your friends about it and subscribe. I know a lot of people who are listening to this on the podcast. So why is it we say subscribe? Because I have a big red sign going up that people can see said subscribe. Also hit that notification button. Uh, if you're watching me live, please hit that notification button so you'll be notified that I'm going live directly from the page on Facebook, Clay time live and if you're listening on podcast and you want to see this shit and see this ignorance you need to find me on uh on facebook so you can see the live show just go clay clay time in the basement show or just clay time in the basement one of those motherfuckers you will see the show live you need to see it live it might be funny just listening to the shit it might be very ignorant listening to it. it's it's even more ignorant when you see it live. So please look me up. All right. Let's get right into it. Let's see. First thing I'm going to talk about, of course, is my boys and my girl at Damage Goods. People who got me into this thing started having me doing podcasting. You can find all the website here, damagegoodsinc.com. You got Damage Goods. Daddy Issues, Clay Time in the Basement, Baked and Waked, Beta Testing, and Needless to Say. Also, we have a new show on there called The Brost. And if you guys want to find, you can find all these podcasts on iTunes, Google Play, Laughable, Stitch, Stitcher, TuneIn, all of it. Also, the merch, get the merch, walk around with the merch like you the shit. I'm a Clay Timer, bitch. So get the merch, you get the merch here at cafepress.com forward slash Claytime in the basement. That's the Claytime shirt. Now you want to get the Outlaw shirt, Outlaw. You can get that shirt at cafepress.com forward slash stand-up comic Clay Miles, one word. All righty then. How y'all doing? I'm sorry I'm late. I am sorry I'm late. I am so sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late, but shit happened. I'm going to go. Shit happened. I'll tell you what happened. My little boy got kicked out of school today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he didn't get kicked out. He got kicked out of school last week, but this week he went back. So he didn't get kicked out again. Believe me, he didn't get kicked out again. But 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 he had to he had to see that that dude who thought he was a bully. Who got his ass rat a tat 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 pow. So I asked him what happened? What happened? I am, I am such, I am more of like, you know, I'm his boy. <laughs> what happened, dog? What happened? Did you knock that motherfucker out? <laughs> Cause he's a nerd. You know, he needs to get physical. You know what I mean? You need to go and throw some bowls sometimes. So, pop! Sometimes you just need to let a motherfucker know. That's why I'm down here in the basement. <laughs> Alright. I said I'm only doing 15 minutes, y'all. Cause I got, I got, I got, I got, I gotta go to work. You guys want me to do more time? Make me famous. Get people to come out to to this to this show, and then ask for me to come to your comedy club. You get a hundred motherfuckers coming out to your comedy club, going, "We want to see this Clay Time in the Basement dude." I don't know, it's Clay Miles or some shit. I don't know. Then I'll then I'll come to your club. Let's get to the fish Prozac. I don't know what the fuck this. Prozac's for fucking, right? I, that's why I, I've, I've always heard of Prozac's for fucking. So why a fish need to... Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. 
Prozac is a drug meant to keep people happy, or at least a little less depressed. But that's what Prozac for to keep you happy. Okay, why are our fish are fish upset? Why the fuck the fish need to be happy? I don't want fish happy. Fuck that. Why do I not want fish happy? Because I ain't happy. And I'm about to eat you. So what the fuck are you happy about? I mean, I can I feel superior to somebody? I'm in a fucking basement. I'm just saying. Okay, I'll let her talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fish, it's a it's different, different tale. tale. Scientists, Scientists say the drug, drug makes them anxious, antisocial, and even homicidal. Really? Really? Hold on. We got homicidal fish? This is the wrong... I'm on the wrong fucking planet. We got we got Trump in the White House, and we got homicidal fish. Are you... Homicidal fish? Really? Isn't that... uh What was, what was those, 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 those snapping fish? What the fuck were they called? Piranha? Don't we already got those fish? Piranha? Now, 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 the, now these normal fish are trying to fuck people up? Men men exposed, exposed to Prozac, to Prozac tend, tend to ignore their, their female counterparts, counterparts limiting, limiting reproduction in the species, species. but how, how do these fish actually get into the drug? Well, it's simple, simple really. really. It leaks, leaks into streams. Soon, it's, it's altering, altering genes, genes responsible for building, building fish brains, brains and controlling their, their behavior. behavior. Researchers, Researchers hope to use this information to determine if the drug's appearance in water will also affect human health. We are fucking up the world. Do you hear that? No, nature, nature is now fucked with by us. There, there, there's your global warming right there. No, no, we don't affect the... Yes, we do. We are fucking with... I swear to God, we put all these chemicals in the water. These fish are going to come out. They're going to have grow legs. And hey, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? You know what I mean? Remember that commercial when, when the, 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 the Indian cried when you threw, like, trash on the ground and he just cried? You know, remember that? Now, the, the fish ain't going to be like that. The fish are going to grow legs, grow arms, and fuck you up. Why are you fucking with my house? All this shit is my house, dog. All this shit is my house. Don't fuck with the fish. The fish ain't fucking around anymore. I'm just saying, the fish ain't having it. <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh, my God. Now, this next one. Family. This next one. I love this next one. This I was supposed to do this one last week, and I didn't, so I can get into it now. The reason why, because we... We spent the whole time, whole 15 minutes, talking about uh, genes holding in farts. I mean, we got a lot of traction on that. A lot. So, anyway. But, uh, okay, this next one is a bottle of 60-year-old, I think it's wine or whiskey, whatever it is. But it went for like one point something million. Okay? And um, speaking of that, I don't know if you guys know this, but the uh, get you a lotto ticket. Get you a lot of get a power ball, a mega ball, what get you some balls. Go get some balls. Go get some lottery balls. And, and put, if you need to put them in your mouth, do whatever you need to do. Hit the lotto. And then you give me half of that shit because I told you to go get it. Let one of y'all hit. I got it right here. I got proof that I told you to give me half of that shit. I'm the one who told you to go get it. A bottle, a bottle of 60 year old whiskey, whiskey has sold, sold for a world, world record, record of almost, almost 1.1 million dollars, 850,000 pounds. The Macallan Valerio Adami, 1926, dubbed the Holy Grail of Whiskey by Connoisseurs, topped the previous best by about 45,000 dollars. 35,000 One million dollars! 60 year old whiskey. Now let me explain to you something. Why, why, why the fuck does whiskey, you know, age like that? You know, when I become 60 years old, can I tell a woman, you want some of this 60 year old dick? Well, guess what? It's one million dollars. All right. Now, fuck that. I'm not because I like you half a million, half a million for all the, you know, I give for half a million. You get half the dick. OK, I'm just saying you get one point five inches. You ain't getting all three, bitch. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm stupid. Pounds. The UK-based UK seller had picked, picked up the rare bottle direct, direct from, from the Macallan distillery for $5,000, 4,000 pounds, in 1994. Click, click on the sun for more. more. I ain't clicking on they shit. They knew it to be rare, but decided to sell when another bottle of the spirit sold for $1 million, 814,081 pounds, the record at the time, in Hong Kong and May. It, it was, was bought, bought by a private, private telephone bidder, bidder from Asia during, during the auction by Bonhams in Edinburgh yesterday. yesterday. The, the, wouldn't you love to have money to just throw away like this? 
These people who buy shit like this have nothing going on. Uh oh, somebody, somebody, uh, thank you. Somebody, somebody gave me some money. Thank you. I don't know who you are. There ain't nobody in here but me. <laughs> Woo! But all I'm saying is, wouldn't you love to have that much money to go ahead and just throw away for, for shit that you would have done? You know what I mean? Probably for free. You know what I mean? Drink. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Serious? I mean, I mean, please. I mean, that's like me doing clay time for free. Matter of fact, I am doing it for free. Put some money, put some money in the tip jar, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, Dad? How you doing? It's just me talking, talking to myself as, as usual. We're talking about six zero whiskey going for one point one million dollars, and go out there and 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 get some uh, mega balls, get some mega balls, okay? Uh, uh, the, the lotto. I know, I know you married, Dot. I ain't telling you to go get balls. I'm telling you to play the lotto. One point one point one million dollars. This a hey, hey, Dot. You hit you hit the lotto. You get billions. We're gonna go. You go out and buy me one of these million dollar. Uh, what do you call thing of whiskey? This way I can die and feel like I'm worth something. You, you every time you throw up, you go, that's two hundred and fifty. That's a million dollars. What's up? I hope Jeff gets the gets right on it. Yeah, tell Jeff to get on it. Damn right. We need to hit. You need to hit and get me the fuck out of here. One, but I just don't understand that. That's why I had to put this on. I just don't understand people. You don't do that shit. Are you out of your mind? There's not as as good as pussy is. Okay, there ain't no million dollar pussy out there. You might have spent a million dollars on that pussy, but guess what? Tell, hey, Dot, tell Jeff I'm on right now. Oh, that's that's uh, that's somebody else. But uh, yeah. Let me go on. I would go ahead and answer them, but but I'm into y'all right now. I'm into you. I'm doing you. I'll get you one of those million dollar homes. Boom! That's why I love my dot. That's why I love my dot. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to that shit. I put the shit on the screen. Facebook saves the shit. That is like signing your name. Bam! <laughs> Starting my comedy comedy career, y'all. I'm getting on the road. I'm getting on the road. I'm just saying. I'm live, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. I'm just saying. What's that? I'll send them out. What? I'll send them outside to finally mow the grass. <laughs> oh, my God. I love y'all. Uh, what's up next? Oh, okay. Damn, it's almost already 15 minutes. It's already, damn, I'm quick. But, wow, I stick it in, I shake it, and I'm done. Just, wow. What, what, Doc? Because we're going to stop the hammering. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to stop the hammering. We're going to stop the hammering. Are we going to? Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? Where's the hammer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, family, you guys are stupid. All right, now, this bridge is the worst bri bridge at all, of all time. And this stupid motherfucker actually drove across it, okay? It's a bridge made of wood, and it's a huge bus that goes, and I've, it's, it's an amazing thing. This isn't even funny. It's literally just scary. Watch this shit. Look at this. It's made out of wood. There's a sign right up there that says how much. And they still gonna try. Dip, baby, dip. Dip, baby, dip. You think there are people on that bus? If I was on that bus, I'd be yelling and screaming, Look, I will walk across the bridge. You stop here. I you stop here, let me out, you go, I see you make it, I'll walk across the motherfucker, let me out. There's somebody on that bus, I'm sorry. Look at that shit.
And look at what the people beeping for. You want them to go back? At this point, I pull out my phone like this motherfucker did because I'm getting paid. You know what I mean? When I'm uh, and I'm getting getting my voice ready because I'm gonna be the ignorant motherfucker. I see the whole thing. I got on my heart beep beep. Please stop beep. Look, yeah. Look at that shit. Holy cow! The bus is doing the or, or the the bridge is doing the worm. You know those motherfuckers on that bus are just praying and because that's that's death. That's death, baby. That's seeing grandma. That's seeing grandma a little earlier than you thought. That's waking up and seeing grandma. Hey, grandma. Oh, look, oh, look at, that. at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. What, the, what the fuck you been for now? They're already halfway across. Now, I got a question for y'all. Who's going after that bus? Who's going next? I'm not going to lie to y'all. If I was on that bus, I'd be like, I'd be mad. I, I'd just be start. I would. So you done with that girl? Oh. So you're not talking to her no oh. more? Oh. You still salty about that? Yep. Ho. 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 All right, man. I got you. See a ho. 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 Ho, that, that'd be me in the back of the bus. Ho, ho. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you guys for coming out. We'll be doing this again tomorrow. Fucking Chucky. Fucking Chucky. We'll be doing this again tomorrow, Monday through Friday, 530, uh, if I can get here on time. 530. 15 minutes, in and out, bang, 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 just the way you like it, ladies, really quick. <laughs> oh, before I go, I got to go ahead and give a shout out again to my people at uh, Damage Goods. Check out the uh, website, the <laughs> oh, fucking dot. <laughs> Check out the website at damagegoodsinc.com, that's one word. Also, get the merch, bam. CafePress.com forward slash Claytime in the basement. Get the shirt. Got the Outlaw shirt. Boom. CafePress.com forward slash Stand Up Comic Clay Miles. Thank you guys for buying that shit too. You guys have been hooking me up, and I really do appreciate it. Oh, uh, that was that was good. I got it out, I, it, and it's still under two hours. <laughs> oh look, I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. I'm out. I don't know why it does this. It should. So now it's time to put out your cigars, walk back in your homes, put those destructive opinions back in your emotional lockboxes, and put your politically correct mask back on. Plausible denial is recommended, and good alibis are suggested. If called upon to testify in a confessional hearing, I don't know you, and you don't know me. If walking these fine lines appeals to you, find him on Twitter at Clay T Basement and Facebook page, Playtime in Basement Podcast Show. Thanks for listening. Go take a bath. You need to wash this off.